Welcome everybody, uh, especially welcome to the last block of the Belgian broadcast day from Midianet Vlaanderen. I know everybody is tired, but we're trying to get everybody excited again. My name is Frank Vervaken. I am actually working for the company CNR in Belgium, as, and also my colleague Hans Verhelst. Uh, he's also an account manager with CNR, and we both represent all the video products in Benelux and Nordic region. The purpose of today is to actually give you an update on the latest products from Telestream, Mindberg, Cobalt Digital, or the updates that they've brought out since the IBC has been cancelled. CNROOT is actually um, a company that specializes in the distribution of test and measurement equipment, as well as active network equipment. We've been founded in 1938 by the Mr. Cornelius Nicholas Root, hence the name CN Root, a Dutch guy, otherwise you wouldn't be named Root. Um, we not only sell products, we also offer consultancy and training. We also offer measurement services. So sometimes customers hire us to help consult and improve their video plant facility, or they help hire us to do measurement services for them if they have limited knowledge about the technology or have no clue how to operate the units. Naturally, of course, we give training to people. We give trainings either in video and fiber optics, any domain that you want, either we do it ourselves or let any of our suppliers come and do the training. Apart from selling products and doing consultancy training and measurement services, we also have an in-house service and support center that actually helps customers. We offer calibration services, not in-house, but out-house, but we actually help customers out there if there are issues on units. If units need to be repaired, you can always contact us. We represent about a different, 50 different brands. Um, we have units for different markets. We offer units for video, telecommunications market, radio frequency RF markets, 5G, for instance. We have spectrum analyzers. We do fiber optic tools, uh, analog and digital design tools. We offer solutions for the medical market, etc. But the purpose of today is, of course, to talk about our video products and the topics of today. Uh, we have split the presentation in three different parts. Uh, we will talk about solutions for the legacy SDI networks. We will talk about uncompressed video over IP, which is a nice connection to the previous presentations. And we will also talk about compressed video, because in the end, it needs to go to the customer. For legacy video equipment, a lot of people actually use Tektronix video equipment. Now, Tektronix video has been merged with Telestream at the end of last year. And the products continue under the name Telestream from this year on. So I will not talk about Tektronix video anymore. I will talk about Telestream products. Now, a lot of customers use sync pulse generators from Telestream that actually enable you to generate synchronization all over your network, whether it's Blackburst, Trilevel Sync, Word Clock, can be SDI test signals, can be AES test signals. Uh, most of the time you need two sync pulse generators with a changeover unit so that if anything happens on your network, you always have a steady synchronization signal. Now, of course you need to synchronize, but you need to measure or monitor. A lot of the waveform monitors or waveform rasterizers from Telestream are used for color monitoring or color management by editing cells or OB vents, but we can also sell those tools to the CIE position, the chief engineering position, either in an OB event or in a, in a broadcast company to do in-depth measurements of signals. Can be either in SDR, HDR domain, so standard definition resolution or high definition. It can be from PAL analog signals to Quad 3G 4K signals. It can be physical layer measurements. It can be the Scooty 104 splice points measurements. It can be anything. Of course, we're not here to talk about the legacy stuff. We're also here to talk about the new things. So HDR, high dynamic range, is actually a hot topic in the sector. Um, from Cobalt Digital, we have solutions. It's a 9904 conversion card that actually allows you to convert from HDR to SDR or from SDR to HD. And they use technology which is, has been designed by Technicolor. So they have a 
co-working relationship technical for that technology. But this allows you to have to work, for instance, in a live environment and to uh, mix it with uh, uh, content from archive network and to up, up convert that content to HDR or to, in the end create an HDR or an SDR flow. Both can be done easily with the Cobalt card. Telestream um, has a lot of waveforms that are limited capabilities on HDR measurements. They can show you the waveforms and the net levels and uh, the dynamic range of the signals. But primarily the PRISM unit has more advanced capabilities for HDR. We can actually show you the CIE chart display. We can show the waveforms, of course. We can do false color overlays. We have a stop waveform function to be able to compare different uh, resolutions of HD. Can be HDR, can be PQ, can be HDR. If you want to compare them, you need something like that. We have a light meter display. We have internal lookup tables. So the Prism is actually the go tool to analyze your HDR streams. Naturally, by going to UHD, either 4K or 8K, you need 12 gigabit signals if you want to stay in SDI domain. Cobalt Digital offers plenty of solutions like routers, multi-viewers, distribution amplifiers, which all have 12G inputs and outputs, but also up, down, and cross conversion cards if you want to convert from SD to HD or from HD to UHD. Telestream, on the other hand, has, of course, the analysis tool. And there's only one analysis tool that has 12G inputs, and that's the Tektronix Prism or Telestream Prism unit. You can have four different SDI inputs on 12G, which means you can do single link 12G 4K or even quad link 8K. So even today, the unit is capable of measuring 8K signals. On the each 12G input, we are also able to do physical layer measurements for engineering options that allow you to look at the electrical characteristics of the signal. Now, if you go to uncompressed video RAPI, which of course means SMPTE 2022-6 or 20 7 or 2110 or AES67 uh, IP audio, we have, you of course need to have those networks, you need synchronization in those networks. The primary sync for those networks is based on PTP, which is different than all the legacy synchronization signals. But not only PTP, you can also have SMPTE 2059 for video or AES67 synchronization signals for audio. Now the Meinberg M1000, M3000 and the Telestream Tektronix SPG 8000A are recognized as industry standards for PTP generation in video broadcast networks. The M1000, M3000, and SPG mainframes are actually modular chassis. You can choose to add different signals if you want. Meinberg is also introducing a new mic microsync broadcast unit specifically tailored for the OBVAN market at a lower cost. So that might also be interesting for people. Cobalt Digital, on the other hand, has IP encapsulators and decapsulators that allow you to go from SDI to IP and from IP to SDI. Naturally, if you have video RAP signals, SMPTE 2110 and 2022, you need to troubleshoot those signals. Telestream just launched a new measuring tool called N, which is capable of monitoring multiple SMPTE 2110 streams and allows you to, at the same time, get a glance of how the streams are working. We not only do quality of service measurements, like transport measurements. We also decode the image and look for qualities in the picture and audio. And if any problem is found, you can redirect that signal to the PRISM unit. And that can be either internally or to an SDN manager. Both is possible. That PRISM unit can then look in depth into that video signal. You can either troubleshoot for PTP issues, you can trouble to tapi multicast, you can troubleshoot delivery issues, quality issues, video or audio problems, and most protocol problems. Anything is possible with that unit. That's not a problem. You can even compare legacy video sync signals like Blackburst or Level Sync with the new PTP or SMPTE 2059 or AES67 signals. That's all possible. Now, on the other hand, uh, there's also another manufacturer, Calnex. They have network emulators to also stress test those networks or they have 
measurement tools to measure the synchronization of uh, all the different parts of the PTP networks. Now, also in compressed video over IP, sorry, not in compressed video over IP, which is you use compression because at the end of the line, you don't have that high bit rates. We offer solutions from Cobalt Digital, which can be encoders, decoders, or transcoders, as well in an ASI domain or IP domain. Cobalt Digital also offers MPEG over IP distribution amplifiers and routers. Telestream, on the other hand, again, has monitoring or measurement tools. Now, the MTS is a measurement tool which can in-depth do MPEG analysis on different interfaces, can be IP, ASI, or RF. They can measure from the, from the transport stream up to the elementary stream, up to the bit level. So it's really an in-depth analyzer that gives you an overview of where the issues are in your streams. The PQA is actually a picture quality analyzer, which allows you to do troubleshooting on picture quality. So you can do encoder optimization, or you can try to have lower bit rate in a transport stream and still have the same quality, or you can do encoder or decoder shootouts with such device. In the compressed video domain, most of the time we actually sell monitoring equipment. Now, Telestream has a vast range of monitoring tools from formerly in AOQuest or Tektronix Video, then Sentry. Now, for the compressed video domain, we do we offer monitoring tools as well on RF, IP, HTTP, or Remote Fi. Now, if it's HTTP, everybody knows it's going to be OTT or ABR, Adaptive Bitrate Monitoring. IPTV can be, for instance, Telnet or Proximus. That's what you get in IPTV. And VOD, of course, is video on demand. All those files are MPEG files most of the time. Um, we do monitoring as well in quality of service. So we look for transport issues. As quality of experience, we can decode all the streams at the same time and look for artifacts in the video, audio, audio, and flag them. We even have cloud-based solutions of those. So all these solutions can uh, exist in Docker principle cloud or VM. Uh, we can do ad insertion monitoring to see if the ad splice is coming correctly, if the SCT35 signaling is correctly. We can lock the splice points, give you the metadata, and we actually store the first frame of video after each splice point. Now, in the end, all that data, all those measurement tools, give their information to an aggregation server, which actually means that the IVMS aggregation server is possible to give you an overview of your entire network from the SMPTE 2110 network up until the OTT or IPTV network. So the aggregation server gives you an easy overview, dashboard overview, and it allows you to pinpoint easily where in the network you might have issues. Now, in the, we are at the end of our presentation. I would like to thank everybody for listening. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to contact us. My colleague Hans is responsible for sales in Belgium and Luxembourg. I myself am responsible for sales in the Netherlands and the Nordics. You have our email address. You can go to our website, www.cnur.com. If you have any questions now, you can ask them. <laughs>